The sketches were trumpeted as the most significant historical donation ever received by the Vancouver Art Gallery, but it wasn't long before art experts started to ask questions. They noticed a lot of things immediately about discrepancies between the, the size of the panel, the thickness of the panel. The 10 oil sketches were thought to be by Group of Seven painter J.E.H. MacDonald. The group includes iconic landscape painters active in the 1920s and 1930s. In 2015, the sketches were billed as newly discovered and never before displayed. There were several red flags raised about the artwork. Some of the concerns were about the brush strokes. Some of the concerns were about the color palette and techniques generally used in the sketches. For instance, experts say McDonald never included people in his initial sketches. He would go out in the landscape, paint the landscape, and then he would make alterations to the work, add figures, do other things, make changes. And um, the artist who made this was obviously not aware of that. The gallery was told the paintings were buried for decades in the artist's backyard. In the 70s, they were reportedly dug up and bought by a family friend whose sons, another 40 years later, found the work stashed in a basement. Ultimately, it was the Federal Heritage Agency that discovered the truth. In microscopic bits of paint, it found colors not even available during McDonald's lifetime. We didn't have to look in detail into McDonald's mixtures and pigments because the result was so clear at the outset that he couldn't have used those pigments. The gallery has now turned that investigation into an exhibition. The important thing is that we're transparent and human and, um, and that we move forward uh, in an authentic way. And I'm not embarrassed of that. I'm, I'm very proud of this exhibition. The fake sketches are on display, attributed to an unknown painter. Belle Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.